Fought my nature. <laughs> Controlled my temper. Oh, oh my God. Hey, what's going on, Cynthia with the Intel? And I'm here with the beautiful Michael Claire. Wait, I'm here with the handsome Cynthia. <laughs> hey, I will take it. Yeah. Just like you're going to take this interview with a vampire episode. I think we're on five IMDb score of a 9.0. The series wow. is not disappointed. I hey, love the show. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. Make sure you give us those thumbs up. Let's get started. A vile hunger for your hammering heart. Did you catch that? That's a lot. Oh, oh, oh he does well, beat on here. There we go. Well, now we know the nature of their relationship. Okay, Rashid. Rashid is still food. Must be their last words. Yeah. Meanwhile, yeah. Louis just gumming. Yeah, look how he's looking. It's not a whole lot. School 40. teacher, <laughs> guard your heart. Oh. I'm trying to think of something more fucked up than this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the sound is so disturbing. Yeah. My man was in there deep for a minute. Yeah. Just, <laughs> so you were chronicling a suit. And he's not even phased. <laughs> Fresh off a meal, too, boy. <laughs> Well, he's full now. What's he taste like? I didn't ask that. You were thinking it. Yeah, he can think. Uh -huh. He can read your thoughts. Yeah. He stuffs himself with both for days before he offers himself to me. Would you like to sample? I'll wait till Dammit comes around again. I'm a savory man most days. <laughs> <laughs> On days he's a plump 139, I believe he swims twice. Mm. Metronomic, my Rashid. Refill. Dang. You don't Damn. treat me like that. He's like, I'm tired too, man. You can just see me get drained. Yeah, you don't treat me like that. The way he's caressing that bird. <gasps> oh, as you said that. <laughs> yeah. Well, I knew it was going to be food. Oh, he breaks their wings and leaves them for her. Ouch. So that's what he was doing. I wouldn't have peeped the breaking of the wings to leave for her. Yeah. So save your words when it comes to Claudia. Mm. She's in there because of you. Sauce your feet. What's that mean? I have no idea. I'm still trying to understand. How is it Lestat's fault? Voila. Comme j'ai dit. She's dining out. As because, I said she was. Because he showed her Charlie burning, remember? Oh. And made her watch it. Oh, ouch. Oh. Look at how there's birds on the diary. <laughs> like the ones he left for her to eat. Yeah. It's just it's kind of funny. All I can think about is how unsanitized that room must be with nasty ass pigeons running around. Oh, yeah. Damn. Well, at least they, at she's least he knows. Bodies. At least he knows she's not starving herself. Yeah, but she's so sloppy with it. Yes, yeah, she is. I did. Inked with ungratefulness. Where are the bodies? Well, then I guess you better hope and pray you taught man to clean up good. Yeah, this little girl, I can't. I can't take her. Way to town! Nothing out there for miles. No one's ever gonna find them except maybe criminals burying bodies of their own. I don't believe that she did that. Nah, because we saw her walk away. Yeah. What happens when the next storm comes out the Gulf? They're gonna find all the bodies. That is horrible working conditions. Yeah. Well, I mean, I would assume that like alligators would get a lot of them too. Though. Oh. Oh no! There they go. Here they come. They're Just gonna get. Yeah, everywhere. they're gonna get un uh, unearthed. Now who's she running around with? Oh, these are her. Oh, I thought that was her. Never mind. <laughs> the Christian ran to Atlanta. Speak easy. Yep. So we must be like around the 1910, 1920s. I think yeah. those were abolition. He said Not 1920s. Abolition, but, uh, Promise for Baton Rouge is what my wife would call a pig in a turnip field. <laughs> I don't know what it means either. Oh, I was like, am I supposed to get that? And we'll look at us. <laughs> a city of a thousand saloons shamed into the shadows. Louis be clean, boy. Chief of police. Chief police. Chief police. Chief police out here getting it in. A foot there. A toe. Is she keeping the Yeah, one poor woman was missing her left. Mama. <laughs> is she like rebuilding? She Frankenstein in somebody? Maybe, maybe. Maybe she's taking the best uh 
One each is what he said? Is that what he said? Yeah. Oh, okay. Look how that man is looking at him. Uh oh. Ooh, look at that look. You saw how he like rose? Yeah. Got him. Dang. I love it when they do that. It's really cool. Yeah. Them dudes be moving. One each. I don't know what that meant. That's on the premises uh, oh. makes for a more efficient intrusion. Why don't you finish your chores upstairs, young lady? Is she drunk? I think so. I don't know. You know, she just gets on my last nerve. Product. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. Oh, my God. That's Nobody so smells that? Oh, that man is still alive. What were you waiting for? Knock it down. Go in there. <coughs> oh, I'm getting ready for bed. Excuse, Excuse me. Oh, <laughs> yeah, they would smell that. Flies everywhere. So, little boys. How are you gonna fix it, huh? Which one are you gonna fuck me? Oh. You're not my type, I like a full of. And <laughs> <laughs> the mistake. Damn. The housewife and the mistake. Damn. <laughs> Goodness. He, she dropped a grenade in the room and then dipped and was like, y'all deal with that. That's because she's a grenade. What, can you what say words that? were there? Yeah. Nothing. It all happened so fast. I was trying to save you. Mm. All vampires are born out of trauma. Mm. Mm. Wow. Films. Oh, my god. Or a cool dismemberment trend amongst the suburban Zobia He do be talking reckless set. to a full-blown predator. Put it out He's there, about to they snap, decide too. What it is. That's that true. is true. Away from you. Mm. Keep reading. University loose leaf notebook. There will be no roaring twenties for us. Mm. We will definitely... be underground for seven years. Wow. In and there, she's just out running a muck. In their coffins? No, 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 oh. just low key. Oh. I know I hurt you. I know I can make it right again. Little girl. Little girl. She's at school. At college, it looks like. This is our school. Where is your fighting pride? Your fighting, fighting pride. pride. Oh, yeah, definitely. Look at my eyes. Yeah, that's what I said. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. As the depression set in on the nation, I barricaded myself within the dilapidating walls of 1132 Rue Royale. You got a raccoon <laughs> in the house. Got me wondering what it'd be like. Ride with others, hunting a pack. Mm, a little gang of vamps. Little fang gang. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what the heck? Got it off a girl a little older than you. <laughs> he still sees her as a child. Oh, of course. Is it etiquette? I, no, didn't, it. I didn't see. I'm always had a fondness for older women. Mm. You're getting a little close there, Bruce. <gasps> oh my gosh. Being rude. <laughs> Why? Why'd you do that for? Because you were going to run away. I knew you'd regret it. Why'd you do that for? Oh, that was cool. Yeah. Shall show neither annoyance nor disappointment. No matter what happens. You better know your power real quick, little lady. Don't ask again. Oh, dang. Okay, I see you, Rashid. To talk about Claudia. Got that. <laughs> Mr. Dulac would like to apologize and okay, continue Rashid. with the interview if you are in the Oh, no. Uh, that don't fade him. No, I know, but I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah, it's the principle. Yeah. But I get it, too, though. I get it, but you still got to understand you were in the house with a super predator. And it's his house. But, but you know, still he recording. violated his body. You can't just sit there and violate my body and there not be some kind of recourse. I get it. I'm not saying it's smart. It's super stupid. 
but you violated him. Similar incidents have been recorded at the College of Charleston, Lincoln University in Jefferson City, and the University of Because yeah. he's tired of hearing about yeah. Claudia. Yeah. The stat has washed his hands. Seven deaths. Close proximity. That's an interesting tie. Cause of deaths. It's like short and fat. Yeah. I guess that was the style back then. I'm sure whoever the researchers were that did the wardrobe. Oh, went, yeah. Went all in. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I'll sit here forever. He is obsessed. Mm hmm Looking down both ends of right. But, I mean, it's a, it's a parent-child relationship. For your forgiveness. I, I get it. Parents would obsess. And if you had that ability to speak out to your child, regardless if they could, if they respond or not, you probably would do it. Yeah, I could meet you. It's a sister. Who died? Oh, her oh. husband. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Maybe she was just at her mom's but grave. You have an age none. Wow. What? That's his grave. I'm praying myself old. Oh. Oh. Thinking what to do about you. But he had to fake his death. I mean, they're like over 100. He's like, not 100 years, but still. Oh. He can't be over 100 something no, years old. Yeah, I know. She's... Yeah, and that mix of emotion right there, right? Just, just hug me. Wonder what Lestat's gonna say about that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Problems back. Ooh, he has such hatred for her. Life. And we took it from her. We cursed her. Come with me. Come with me, Louis. Ooh, the fight for Louis. Ooh. Mm. Goodness! All you, all you hear is pounding. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Violins in the Ooh. background. <laughs> Goodness, that scared the, <laughs> the crap out of me. <laughs> Fought my nature. Control my temper. Oh, oh my God. God. You know how cats like pick up their young by the nape of their neck? It was never you. <laughs> oh, that he wanted? Looking like Superman. <laughs> yeah. I loved it. Yeah, I mean, it's it's the nature of just relationships. If you're in a relationship long enough, there's there's, you know, you're gonna there's some stuff you're gonna have to deal with. Uh, and in this particular one, uh, it feels like Lestat has forced a relationship upon Louis. I think that's how that's the guy. It seems like that's like the nature of just vampires when they create somebody else. It's a forced relationship that's born out of trauma. That that quote will always like stick with me. And trying to force somebody to love you. Putting them in an impossible situation where you they can't reciprocate that particular love because it was never really asked is like a shaky foundation to build a relationship on to begin with. Whereas the relationship between like Louis and Claudia is it's it's based more on like we we, we saw I think I think they disclosed it was more of a like a sister brother sister kind of relationship like forged in. They're both trying to figure it out. And they're not getting, I guess, the information from from their maker. I don't know, but it feels like the relationship that Louis that Louis and Lestat has is just too dysfunctional to work. And it always kind of has been. And they've been deluding themselves with Claudia as a way of kind of like maybe getting around the the bigger issue of them of themselves. So it, this is just you know it. it it's a relationship story more so than it is like fangs and blood and gore and vampires and all this other stuff. It really is just about just a dysfunctional family. And this was like the, 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 the point of no return where you can't go back anymore after, after this. We thought it was when Claudia left, but now that Louis attacked, now that Lestat has attacked Louis, like there's, mm -hmm. it's done. The family, mm -hmm. the family's broken. And so it was a, 
very violent end. It was a violent birth and it's a violent end. Mm -hmm. How about you? I think it's interesting that you say there's a difference between Lestat and Louis Mm -hmm. and Louis and Claudia. Like, I get that it's not a romantic relationship, but she didn't ask for it either. She still has resentment and, you know, yeah. so I feel like it's still a forced relationship. So I don't know how there's like a distinction between and like we should just be like, oh, Louis and Claudia should definitely just be together and make their relationship work. But then Lestat and Louis are supposed to be like these just irreconcilable people in this like toxic relationship with they, which they are. Right. But I just don't see any difference between that and the relationship with Claudia and Louis because she did not ask for it. That's why she's so traumatized okay. and so like resentful and, you know, not understanding of why they didn't just let her die or take her to the hospital, like she said, right? I don't know. I feel this is so f- interesting, but I, I feel for Lestat. He, you know, we don't know his, his story in terms of his maker. We don't know what all has happened to him in, during his isolation. What made Louis the person that he decided to spend his eternity with right so i don't i don't know i i have kind of mixed feelings about that them being stuck in isolation for seven years kind of reminded me of a pandemic right mm. and there's a there was a lot of repercussions from pandemic of relationships a lot of divorces a mm-hmm. lot of relationships were broken up because they were forced people were forced to have to kind of like look at each other and interact with each other mm-hmm. and louis and and uh Lestat's relationship like there was no room to breathe. They were they were in quarantine, a quarantine together, and the thing that could distract them or at least keep them from literally being at each other's throat uh, was Claudia. Mm. Whereas Claudia, on the other hand, um, is like even though she looks like a even though she looks like a little girl, she's not a little girl. She's a full blown, full grown woman. You know, she's probably like 40, 50 years old, probably about forty years old. Twenty one is what I'm assuming. I think I thought more than like. I thought she was 14. Passed, right? No, she was 14 when they made her. And then seven years have passed in isolation and Claudia was gone for seven years. Okay, well, either way, she's not a 12-year-old girl. Mm. Um, and to me, it feels like, you know, it's funny that they that they wrote in the fact that she is that she was hanging out at these colleges. And that's like maybe she's at like for real at a, at a college age. Mm-hmm. And for many of us who have gone to school and have left home for the first time, or if you trade school or you just leave home, you know, there is a very... Um, there's a lot of realities that you may not have been prepared for uh, that, that get thrown your way and she's and she sees one and that is she meets a, like another vampire mm-hmm. so her relationship with understanding who her own kind is is kind of like she's not nobody's holding her hand into that she's being forced not forced into it she's being introduced to it uh, and she has to you know figure it out like like on her own so her growth as as an individual person and is and is and as a vampire is kind of like on her own terms now and now that she's you know like like many of us who who have gone to school and come back if you you think you've learned a little bit you know you think you're still you know able to make have like these grown more adult like conversations with your elders she's still wildly ignorant so she went out to college had fun kicked it met people you know did her thing and then she comes back home and then she realizes she still doesn't have the wisdom that lestat has you know, she's like, well, I'm going to go pray it off to South America or to France and this, that, and the third. Or you could just tell me, and Lestat's like, you still don't know nothing. And she doesn't. Mm-hmm. You know, like, she's way smarter than she was from before. But, you know, she still is 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 younger in wisdom than, than Lestat could, could possibly happen. And Lestat is just done with it all together. But to me, I guess the most pivotal part is the fight for Louis. Who deserves to have that relationship with Louis? Is it Lestat? Because I heard you say that you feel kind of bad for Lestat. Or is it Claudia, somebody who is still trying to piece it all together, uh, but is willing to share, I guess, information or whatever it is that, that they need in order for growth? So what? who do you think should should win that battle? I don't know. It's hard because I know I'm still stuck with, and this is just my personal opinion, I'm still stuck with the fact that she just kind of came about after Lestat had already created Louis. I don't feel like that they really had enough time together to kind of figure stuff out. Okay. before Claudia came along. And I think she just added to their chaos. So I, I don't know. I, I don't have an answer for that. Okay. Well, I think that's what makes the addition to this so so interesting is mm. that you have this, this couple who are living their best lives and their best vampire lives. Mm. And then they have this, this third wheel that kind of gets added. And 
forces them to look at each other it mm-hmm. discombobulates stuff mm-hmm. and then the relationship is like gone to pieces mm-hmm. i think um there's an interesting thing with power right like louis has power over both of them louis has power because claudia mm-hmm. needs louis in order to to move forward and lestat needs louis because of the isolation mm-hmm. but lestat and Claudia, neither of them can impose their will upon Louis completely. Louis is still his own person. And the one piece of power that he does have is his choice. Mm-hmm. And Lestat literally tries to physically break him of his choice. Mm-hmm. And in the very end, when he lets him go, it's like, I'm going to try and make this as destructive as I possibly can. But I still, but you, like you said, I do kind of feel bad for Lestat. Mm-hmm. But you can't force somebody to love you. No, I agree with that. I do agree with that. But it's still... You know, I don't, it's hard because I don't really see where Lestat has wronged Louis. Understand like his complete disdain for him now. I just, I don't understand. I don't understand Louis's feeling uh, towards Lestat of this like, just, you know, just utter like disgust or something i don't think it's disgust it's just that louis's love is is really towards claudia he's literally calling out to her into the darkness please come back like he loves this 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 woman now um and lestat has always been louis you were my one and only Mm -hmm. and because and louis and lestat said there was a line in there something to the effect he was like yo i'm real in front of you flesh and blood as as an adult yeah i'm here yeah Yeah. i'm here Mm -hmm. yeah and louis still you know, screaming out into the into the darkness for for Claudia, mm-hmm. and for Lestat, his whole Louis's whole purpose is to be his companion. Yeah, that's why he made him. Yeah, and mm-hmm. Louis want, has no has no interest in that right now. I don't think I don't think he's disinterested in Lestat. It's just that he, he's no longer the priority. It's Claudia who's the priority. Mm. So I guess Lestat's whole thing now he's at that point where it's all or nothing, and for the simple fact that he put that louis put his hands on lestat when he tried to to get claudia out of the way that was a violation and then you know Mm -hmm. you're talking to somebody that's that's more powerful than you Mm -hmm. and you got to be careful i mean like like there's this thing about then we've seen it in two instances we've seen it with this when louis who is not as strong as lestat you got to watch how you move around somebody that is bigger faster stronger than you wiser than you Mm -hmm. you know he violated and made and, and put his hands on a stat and you saw what the stat did. Mm-hmm. Just like the reporter, mm. he's in the room. He's in the room with Louis, bigger, faster, stronger, wiser. Mm-hmm. You know, you're gonna watch how you talk to me. Mm-hmm. You know, but in that same, they're, they're both one in the same. They're the relationships. But even though Louis Louis disciplined the the, the reporter. The reporter still slapped him because mm-hmm. you know you may be bigger, faster, stronger than me, but you still violated me. Mm-hmm. You know, and I'm going to show you. So, it, you know, Louis slapped Lestat in that same kind of way. So they're they're both kind of like a, 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 a same kind of like a parallel within this particular episode. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm still processing. <laughs> I don't know. I'm like I don't know what you want me to say there. No. Yeah, I'm still processing that. Yeah, no, it's just it's just me making a point more yeah. than more than posing a question. Yeah. Um. So there's one more. Here's one more thing I got. I guess it's more of a question for you, mm-hmm. and that is. Is Louis humanity completely finally done now that his sister has literally buried him? I think that's the representation of that. No. Yeah, I definitely um, feel like, you know, she was like, in order for my family to, con- well, our family, but my family to continue to grow and flourish and do what we need to do, we have to say that you're no longer here. No. Um, because obviously no one sees you during the day. Mm-hmm. I mean, I know they still see him. Well, no, he's been holed up for seven years. I mean, yeah. they kind of assume that he's still in there. Yeah. Um, but now that they have this gravestone, it's kind of like a finality. I think that was absolutely a symbol of the finality of his humanity. Right, right. Okay. Yeah. I am glad that his sister at least said goodbye, though. Yeah. She gave him that little peck on the cheek and held his hand, you know, because I'm sure that's extremely difficult for her. She lost two, two, bro- two brothers and a mother. Yeah. And she has to carry on. Yeah. She has to keep moving forward. Yeah. Um, I think there's one more piece of brilliance, um, and that is, I think us, the viewers, as well as everybody else within the show, are having a hard time understanding, like when the child has left the nest, and that's in Claudia. It's like we just constantly have this rejection, and it's easy to reject because she looks and acts like a child, but she's not. And I think many parents, we haven't discovered that just yet, with regarding uh, the empty nest. But when that day does come, you know, I feel that many parents see 
that person that's leaving the nest is as their forever child you know um and i think louis kind of felt felt that way feels that way as well and then we kind of i think us the viewers see her as that as well but the truth of the matter is she has reached a point in wisdom um and in an age that she is not you know 13 or 12 or however long however old that she is and we have to look at her as that she, she's just not a child well my thing is this though when she left it was seven years before i feel like she still was a child at that point when she actually left out and she obviously wasn't making the best decisions before she left they mm -hmm. weren't in a good space in their relationship no. she was you know what i mean she left out of anger mm -hmm. so i feel like there are other factors to consider other than just her perceived age of intellect well, it's not perceived. I mean, she has the years. How, how many years have passed? I mean, most times yeah. during, during the 1920s, yeah. most people like boys were yeah. considered almost like men by the time they were 16 to 18 years old. They were out in the workforce getting but a how, how not, many years have passed? And she... she well, well, they said seven years of quarantine. Okay. Yeah. Plus so they did at least another three or four before she was before she had left so she's 10 added on to whatever the age is that they picked her up so she's probably like 21 22 years old yeah when she comes back yeah yeah she's still an adult yeah but when i'm saying when she left right because when she left the house she wasn't this adult that was all learned and all of that is what i'm saying but neither neither are many of us when we leave the house for the first time you're not you're not you you might be adult by the law, you know. But the yeah. law says at eighteen that you're you're an adult, but you're still a child because you've lived in somebody else's household and have lived under their protection and guidance. But when you go out, you have to go out into the world, you know, as not a child. You know that that's that, that's the thing. There, there, she's not the person she was when she left. No, not when she comes back. Right. Yeah, I mean, I we all that. leave the house kind of like as children. All of us. Okay. So why does she get the why does she get the exception? Like she's she's not a child anymore. She gets exceptions to me because of like I said the the factors behind when she left and why she left. It's not like oh she's going off to college and we're gonna but send her. She literally up. went to college. I know, but that's not <laughs> why she left. She didn't leave with that intention. She left because she was angry, yeah. because she was spiteful or everything that had gone down. The reasons for leaving, though. Oh, my goodness. Don't, we're not going to agree. Okay. All right, we're not. <laughs> yeah, we're just not going to agree. Okay. Hey, well, let us know where, where, where you feel. Uh, is Claudia an adult or is she still a child? <laughs> um, how do we feel about the relationship between Louis and Lestat? Um, mm -hmm. How do we feel about the, about the relationship between uh, Louis and Claudia and the choices that, that are going to be made? Mm -hmm. More importantly, how would you feel about the episode in general? Are you still on board? Uh, is, this, is there anything that's kind of new regarding what, we've, uh, what we all have read in the books and what we're seeing oh, on, yeah. on the screen as well yeah. and what we may have seen uh, in the movie? Uh, and also, uh, what do you what do you all? We didn't get a chance to talk about it, but what do you all think about Rashid and his purpose in oh, Louis' yeah. uh, new life? All right, I guess that's oh. about it for that. I know I wanted to talk about it, but we're gonna go ahead and get out of here. Thank you so much <laughs> for hanging out. Uh, yo, go ahead and hit that subscription button. And of course, uh, give us those thumbs up because that is how the people know you are digging what we are giving you. And of course, uh, check out Michael Claire and her page. Oh. Snooty Vegans. Oh, I got the jazz hands for Snooty Vegans. Uh, Snooty <laughs> Vegans, Lock Journey, Vegan Lifestyle Life as you know it. Link in description. Subscribe, join, have fun. All of that. All right, we'll catch you on the next one. Peace. <laughs>